I am just getting back from a work trip uh, that took about a week and I wanted to share with you my experience with the Prometheus Design Works Shadow 24 Leader. Welcome back to the channel everyone. So I know uh, there are a couple of other um, reviews on the uh, Shadow which stands for um, Suspension Hall access, durability, and organized. Um, I think there's one or two other reviews out there and I know it's it came out about four or five months ago but I just recently had an opportunity to, to pick one of these up and I wanted to um, kind of share my experience really quick with it as well as give you kind of a walkthrough of the bag and what I have in there. And so I use this for a week long work trip um, to uh, kind of carry some of my necessities uh, on the airplane and then out and about as I was um, traveling to and from locations um, where I was working. Um, what you'll immediately notice, or what I really like about it, is um, the sleek design. Uh, the front has a, a load panel um, where you can kind of stuff some of your gear behind um, that is reversible. Uh, the back side of this does have laser cut uh, molly uh, webbing into it that's kind of nice. Um, I like the slick look personally. Um, what I used um, this for was to hold my Arc'teryx Cerium SL jacket under it when it got a little too warm so I stuffed that guy under there and carried it pretty perfectly. Um, real easy, um, you have some straps that you can adjust that flip out and you also have, uh, you could take this off completely. Then you have uh, some actual bungee cord here that you can use that to tie down any gear or strap in jackets or shoes or whatever else you need. You also have some nice loop here that you can use to attach, put carabiners on or lash things to. Um, you also have things that you can hook an ice hook to or um, trekking poles. Uh, but I really like the kind of slick look to this. It's, it's kind of nice and clean. Then moving on from there, you have a patch panel in the front, which is large enough to carry probably two three inch, pan three -inch patches by themselves. Um, so, Moving to the sides, and we'll keep going around the outside of this really quick just so you can kind of um, see what the outside looks like before we get to the inside. Uh, on, that, on that panel on the front, you also have a zipper, um, and it's a, it's a stretchy material uh, that it's made up, so you're not going to put anything like your keys in there or anything like that because that could, uh, could get poked through it or wear through at some point. But what I used that for was to carry my, uh, my boarding passes and some other receipts and just paper type of stuff in there, uh, which worked really well. Uh, on the sides you have uh, two um, water bottle pockets. They each have kind of a pull tab on them and they are also like a stretchy material. I'm not sure exactly what type of material this is, some type of spandex more than likely. Um, but I had a water bottle on one side um, and it worked, um, worked out well. I didn't have any issues with the water bottle coming out or coming loose or anything like that. So uh, that worked well. Prometheus Design Works, kind of like Triple Out Design, they, they really pay attention to the details in my opinion. On this pack, what I really like about it are things like um, side carry handles. So you have a side carry handle <clears throat> on each side, which is nice, and then you have, of course, one at the top. And then along each side, right above the side carry handle, you also have some single molly loops, um, to, again, to attach more uh, gear to if you feel the need to. Uh, along the bottom you have laser cut molly so you can attach straps down here and uh, attach a jacket or a, a sleeping pad um, or what have you underneath. There's also a carry handle on the bottom of this which I am just noticing now after flipping this over so that's kind of nice. Um, let's go ahead and look at the back part of this. I found the the carry of this to be pretty comfortable and the bag is pretty full um, from a weight perspective. Uh, it does have your actual clips here where you can actually break the break the straps off if you need to. You have your normal chest strap that comes across here. You have load lifters on the tops of each strap, which is nice. Um, I found the straps, they are thin, but they're actually really comfortable um, when wearing them around. And again, I had this on for you know hours at a time, so um, that's kind of nice. Uh, I like the back where it is a mesh and kind of a foam padding on it with a kind of a channel in the back to let your let your back breathe up the middle uh, which is nice it also comes with a um, hip belt uh, with a laser cut molly along it that you can attach here uh, if you want to wear a hip belt which is pretty easy to do uh, again the, the modularity of this this backpack is is um, is quite nice they, they've thought out a lot of the details on it um, to kind of customize to your needs now myself I don't need a um, hip belt, 
on a 24 liter pack because I'm not gonna load this thing up to the point of where I'm gonna need to change the weight to my, my hips versus my shoulders, at least that I think of right now. But it's nice to have that option included um, as a, you know something to configure your, your pack in um, instead of going out and buying a new pack if you needed to. Um, Let's see, up the front, again, more uh, laser cut molly up each of the straps. Uh, I put on one of the Triple Lot Design Ferro markers on here. I really like those, it's a tritium insert. Um, you can see it in the dark. It's just one of the, one of the things I kind of like to have on my bags if I need to find something in the dark. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go to the inside of this pack to kind of show you what I carried for the week um, in the pack as I was uh, moving out and about. But before that, if you are interested in my videos and you like what you're seeing so far, please consider uh, subscribing and liking. That's going to help me um, kind of boost some of my uh, views on YouTube and allow me to get some, you know, offers for content and things along those lines to uh, continue to um, do some reviews on gear that I'm really interested in. Hopefully you all are too. So again, if, if you uh, are like what you see, please consider um, subscribing and giving a like to this video. I really appreciate that. Okay, so to get into the bag, um, these the front panel actually acts as compression straps also. So to get in the bag, you gotta take loose the front uh, panel. Um, there is a front zipper area here, which is about six or seven inches deep. This is where my fingers go to in the front panel. Um, it's Velcro lined, soft looped lined on the inside, and it has, um, like the rest of the pack, there's an orange uh, material. Um, I think it's a 70D nylon, I believe. Um, which is nice because it's contrasting so you can actually see what you have um, in your bag instead of having to shift around, shine a light in there or anything along those lines. So a bright color to me, I, I like that. Um, what I did was I took the admin pocket that comes with the bag that's Velcro backed and I put it in here uh, because I like to, you know, have pens, um, an eye mask, uh, you know, a little flashlight, this S1 baton. I like to kind of have some of that stuff handy when I'm traveling and up front. Um, and easy to get to versus digging through inside the bag, um, which you could do, but I like to have it kind of handy and easy to access. I also threw my keys in here. Um, you could run um, a small compact pistol in here on like a Velcro backed holster, um, like Vertex's origami holster would probably fit in here perfect. Um, if I wanted to run, you know, like maybe a Glock 19 would fit in here, but definitely one of your more uh, subcompact uh, pistols would definitely fit in there. Okay. Um, so we'll go to the front section. There's there's really two main sections to this bag. What I like about this bag and what they did, um, they thought about the bottle pockets and being able to open your bag with the bottle pockets here fully. So in a clamshell. Now, just the front half, the second section doesn't clamshell, but the front clamshells, which is nice. I, I like that feature on a bag. I like to be able to open it up flat, lay it on the ground and see what I have in here. So again, your contrasting color, your high-vis color, you have two zipper pockets that are mesh uh, outer on them, which is, is nice if you wanna put things in there. I don't know what I have in here right now. I think I have like a Metro Pass and something else in there in the top part. I think I have my, uh, yeah, my AirPod, AirPods in the, uh, in the front there. So I typically carry with me, um, as if you've seen some of my other videos, I'm usually carrying a first aid kit that has a bit of blowout gear in it. Also, there's a tourniquet in here, as well as uh, some chest seals and then some wound dressing and then just some of your basic boo-boo kit. I always, carry, um, I always carry this with me when I travel or even when I'm just kind of everyday type of deal. So I always carry a med kit. Um, you've seen in my other videos, I carry all of kind of my electronics, gadgets, connections, extra batteries, you name it, badges for work, things like that, are all carried in this Bond Travel Gear Escapade pouch, which again, is amazing. It has great organization. It fits really easy into a number of packs perfectly. This one fit perfectly stacking these two on top of each other. I really like it and that's typically what I carry. Now where I was traveling to was a little colder this week. Obviously I was wearing my Arc'teryx um, down jacket um, and then I also brought you know a small hat to wear um, that's made out of a little bit of wool. Um, I have a Shema which I normally carry. You can wear that as a scarf, wear it as a head wrap. You know, lots of uses for a Shema, so I really, um, I really like that. In this, in this front pouch, this front pocket here that opens up, you have a clip where you could hang your keys from. Uh, you also have a pouch here, or I, I guess another section in there that's padded, which I like. So I have my 11-inch um, MacBook Air slid down in there, and again, you probably saw me pull out the charger. I had that in there. So that is what I had in the front section of um, the Shadow. I'm gonna close that up and we'll go into the back section here and show you what I had in there. 
real quick. Take this water bottle out, get that out of the way. And um, what you have in the back section, again, is not a clamshell, uh, but it does uh, provide quite a bit of uh, room and space. I have just kind of your basic, um, you know, dop kit in there for travel. I have a folder with some work items in it. I have a notebook and a toothbrush. Um, and that's what I carried in there. I also have some other papers here. So in this, on the back of this two pocket areas, again, high vis orangish yellow color where I have some notebooks in there, um, some paper that I had written on. Um, I just have some narrow stuff tucked in there. You also have another um, clip area here where you could hook up a hydration carrier um, and then tuck down in this pocket here, which is kind of nice if you want to use that to carry a hydration bladder. Um, you can fit quite a bit in here. Now, this bag is really designed, um, I guess, at least as I'm looking at it, for a lot more organization. Uh, I don't know that you're gonna be able to use this as kind of like a one bag carry. Uh, you might be able to do it for like a weekend um, and pack some clothes in here and kind of some toiletries and, uh, and some of those things. But I, I think it's really, a little bit more everyday carry, at least as I'm looking at it. It worked perfectly for me to carry um, on, a, on the aircraft and uh, kind of keep everything close to me that I needed, um, uh, jacket, you know, toiletries, um, some of your basic stuff. So that worked really well for me. Um, I think if you're looking for something that's kind of more one bag carry, again, this is 24 liters. The outside of this is a 500D, 500D uh, material, a Cordura material, which is, um, pretty nice. It's a lightweight. It still gives you some of that protection and some of that um, durability, um, but isn't real stiff. If you're looking for something uh, more um, clamshell open, not as much organization, um, you know, and you want to do like a three-day trip, you may want to go for something like uh, GORUCK, you know, their their GR1 or something along those lines. Um, and I'll put a I'll put a card or a link to my review of the GR1, the GR2, so you can take a look at that. But this may not work well for you. Um, again, it does have some flex and ability to expand, but if you're, if you're trying to pack a lot of clothing in here, or shoes, um, because of the way it's set up and the two separate areas in here, you, you're probably gonna have a hard time. Now, if this was one whole um, large area it, and it clamshelled open into one large area, it would probably work perfect for a two or three day, three day trip to put everything in there. So um, that is probably one thing that I don't like. It's a little bit of a trade off. I like having organization, but I do like to have the flexibility to um, use this bag as kind of a one bag for you know two, three day trips. That would be, be nice. Um, and then the trade off would be organizing via you know pouches and things along those lines. So um, you also get um, a kind of a nice, uh, insert here that you can slide into either of the sections. Um, it is a loop Velcro um, pattern here, grid pattern, um, and then it does have the ability where you can get underneath that if you want to feed Molly through that. So you do have some options if you want to attach some Molly pouches or some Velcro back pouches to this, which is nice. Has a handle so you can pull it out um, quickly. And then you have three on the back side of it, you have three um, zippered mesh pockets on it, which again, you know, getting this um, and the hip belt and the admin pocket. Um, this front, you know, um, kind of stash cover that you have here. All that in one is really a great deal. It's, um, I mean, for the price of this, you really can't beat it. And they also offer um, veteran, military, and law enforcement discounts. I think it's 10% with their force program. Um, so, so check it out. They're, um, they're you know, I, I, I like Prometheus Design Works. I, I have one of their backcountry scalpels that I'm going to um, do a review on that I have in the box still that I haven't taken out yet that'll be coming up here shortly. So, I mean, I really like their design um, overall. And obviously the folks at Prometheus Design Works really started Triple Lot Design. And I'm really a big fan of both of those um, those lines and those brands that make some quality stuff. Um, this was not made in the USA. Uh, I'll have to find what country it was made in. And that's, you know, the price that you're paying is really because it's not made in the USA. So it's a little bit of a trade-off depending on what you're looking for. Um, they also included some of these additional poles. So if you wanted contrasting poles on the outside of your bag, you can swap out your poles. So all in all, the price, um, it's a value. I think it's a great pack. I'm going to like it. It worked perfectly for me and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep carrying it. Guys, if you're in the market for a new pack, uh, why not give this one a try? Take a look at it. Check it out. Um, hopefully you'll like it as much as I do. Um, I'll update any durability issues or anything like that if I run across them, but 
Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble on. This is a long video as normally because I talk too much.